So now Los in walks Scott and ATL. Scott, what the hell's going uh, on? Don't give yourself food. Oh <laughs> my dog, man. What's up, man? Hey. hey. Man, what's up, man? I'm in here. 420, man. It's going down again. What we doing, fellas? Yeah, man. We, we just doing a little something, man, just to let, you know, let the powers that be. It can't stop, you know what I'm saying, our mission to doing something dope for the city, for the yeah. culture, man. Like, you know, they're not going to give, you know, they're not giving us no layups, but, you know, if you're from the hood, you know what I'm saying, you from, you know what I'm saying, you you the, you the overcame. Like, nobody yeah. going to give you nothing. So we going to give it. Exactly. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I reached out, got Killer Mike. You know Killer Kill. Mm -hmm. Ended up, you know what I'm saying, got a, got a great venue. Yeah, yeah. That's a historic part of Atlanta. That's so right. So I'm able to bring that money back to the community that I, I grew up in. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know, people like Scotty, you know, just doing South by Southwest. That's how I know it's not about the money. He's like, Los, I'm trying to do something for the culture, man. Can I use the free that brand? I said, That's right. go for it. Yeah. Because your intentions are right. It's people like Cassie Cope, you know what I'm saying, uh, who stepped up. It's people like my business partner, Tony Wiz. Yeah. Um, it's people like the Bonfire team. You know, we would have mm. done it at Bonfire. They just do a big ass 420 event. Yeah. I told Bonfire last year, I'm a man of my word. I said, You're going to have the first right of refusal to mm. work with me on it this year. Yeah. It just so happened that the third week in April is 420 exactly. this year. And I wanted to bring it back, you know, the reunion part to the third week in April. But it's so many people, you know, uh, Joseph Douglas, you know what I'm saying? So many people that's just, you know, out here helping, you know, mm. that believes in the vision. Player Poncho, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Came what up, though, Poncho? Came out with a Freak Nick song, you know what I'm saying? So we, you know, I said, Bro, you know, make that free name music. Like let's let's you know, I, I got the license, the trademark covers music. Let's let's produce some free name music. Like let's make this about the culture, man. And so being able to have people, you know what I'm saying, like Scotty and everybody I just mentioned, man, it's real important to carry the torch for it. Exactly. Scotty, teaming up with Carlos, man. What has that been like for you out here getting it done, man? Man, so actually the way I feel like we linked up was that I saw he was doing free Nick and South by Southwest. Uh, I've been going to South by Southwest for a long time. Thanks. And I was like, man, why you ain't on the weekend where every, when everybody going to be here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? That's what I call him on. Like, bro, like, we got to do something on Saturday. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so like, for those who don't know, South by Southwest is a three-part week, a three-part uh, festival. Mm -hmm. You got your music, your technology, and you got your film. Yeah. The music falls the last week. And then the last weekend of South by Southwest is normally the most lit weekend. So I mm. wanted him to be a part of that. Yeah. Because I feel like it's the, yeah, the you know, the free is supposed to be put where it's supposed to be put. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was going to be in town on that weekend too. So I reached out to him like, yo, let's collab, man. I want to make this a part of my show at South by Southwest. I had an official showcase. Mm -hmm. We did. Yeah. We did a free Nick segment. Um, we brought some ladies on stage. All right, now. Turned up, you know Ain't what I'm saying? nothing wrong with that. And what I asked for in return, I said, bro, I just want <coughs> knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah, want yeah. knowledge, bro. Exactly. I, just, I said, you know tell me, saying, Josh, yeah. let me know how you do this. Exactly. Because talking about people reaching back and pulling Let's up. Let's collaborate. Yeah, I just want yeah. knowledge, Can bro. we collaborate? No you know doubt. what I'm saying? No doubt. So, so, so my, my whole goal from the beginning was that I felt like I know about Freak Nick, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I, I've seen Freak Nick before, Come you know on what I'm saying? Like, now, I ain't going to say I was at all the Freak Nicks. Yeah, but right? you was old enough to go outside and see what the hell's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so I know it's a lot of people that didn't see that, that yeah. just heard about it, you know. Um, and some people that may not heard about it, yeah. you know. I felt like it was something dope that went on for the city of Atlanta. And I'm big on just bringing culture and what people of Atlanta are known to do to the world. Exactly. You know, I just feel like it's dope. Um, I know there were some things that came out of, like, I watched the documentary. Yeah. There were some things that came, you know, out of the Free Net Party that, to be totally honest, I didn't even know. Yeah. You know, some of the things that happened, I wasn't privy to some of that. I don't watch the news like everybody watch the news. I had a good time, you yeah, know. Yeah, there yeah. was some good experiences yeah. I know about. Like any regular party, you yeah, got to Friday night. Somebody you know? might have got to fighting in the back. Exactly. Yeah. You, it's gonna be some, you had fun in the exactly. front. People going, yeah, it's going to be some things that go on. Whatever, whatever go on, you know, you're going to always have some problems. Yeah. Um, I, Like I was saying before is that I think people get so caught up in, it's a few things. One is that you can't bring something like that back. Yeah. You know, we want to just give honor to the legacy and 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 what was done for Atlanta. And I feel like 
that's being done in so many ways, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, in the city of Atlanta. There's so many things that we keep yeah. the legacy ongoing from underground, mm -hmm. yeah. you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, mm -hmm. to four, four days. Exactly. Of, you know what I'm saying? We For always sure. finding ways to 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 yeah, show people sincere. our culture. Exactly. So I feel like that's one aspect of it. Yes, we can't bring back and we're not trying to do what they did. Yeah. We trying to just keep the legacy going in, the today, legacy. in today's time. Exactly. You know, and let people have fun. I'm with you. And then the other part I feel like, man, is that okay, Coachella, let's just use, and I, I hate to even go here with this, because this could be very whatever. I'm going to hit it with a Woodstock. I'm going to hit it. I'm hit it. That's what I'm trying it. to say. Mm -hmm. Feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you know, it ain't about black and white for me. Right. It's yeah. just about people having the understanding of history and how things go on. Coachella had its moments, yeah. and some people was outside, and yeah. whatever went down. Right. I'm yeah. sure it's been all yeah. kind of shit. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. But like, we still we still honor that today and we, we we making it look like what it's supposed to look like in today's time. Yeah. And so to that point, I understand and I'm supporting what he's doing in exactly. the city in terms of like, okay, this like our Coachella. Exactly. We could build it like that. Yeah. Come it, on. You know, it's a different right type support. of party. We need some support. Please. Yeah. Exactly. You know? Yeah. But either way, I, I think that it's something dope, man, that people gonna get a chance to come out, exactly. have a good time, have fun. Our goal is for people to be safe. We not letting no bullshit go down. Exactly. Not on my clock. Come I on. ain't I I ain't no way. Come on. I'm, I'm supporting nobody right? again, yeah. rate or no kind of shit exactly. like that. I ain't on that type of time. You know, I got kids too. Come on. You feel me? So we ain't supporting that. Exactly. But we wanna support fun. And we wanna we wanna allow people to know that they can have fun right. without it feeling like it's so restricted. Right? Yeah. And so some trust got to be gained there. Yeah. You know, so yeah. some, some trust was lost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it got yeah. to be gained there, but it's one step at a time to do it. I'm with that. I'm with that. Now, Scotty, you know, you just got back from Nashville, sir. I did. I did. I mean, I did. you over here talking your talk, man. What the hell was going on, man? <laughs> man, I went to Nashville... This is my first time doing a live interview. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've done, like, I did the Steve Harvey thing. Thanks. That was a live interview. But this was, like, independent, uh -huh. you know, talking directly to the people about how I've made it as an independent artist mm. in a major game. You a cold blooded man for that because I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen short hair Scotty to long hair Scotty, and he's been getting bigger and stronger every year. Yeah, man. I ain't mad at that, yeah. Scotty. Nah, I appreciate he's humble it. too, though. Come appreciate on, man, it. because he's doing the work. Yeah. You ain't got yeah. to be cocky and arrogant when you're doing the work Ooh. and you really got something to show for it, sir. Yeah. We man. see it. Hey, look, it's a book that I read. Yeah. It's called Confidence. Yeah. Damn right. But it's not about confidence. Come on now. The book talks about how the majority of our world is so caught up on being confident mm -hmm. that we've lost the fact that we need to be competent. Ooh. Ooh. If you That's become real. more That's competent, dope, yeah. if you could become more competent, it naturally makes you more confident. You, when people come in the room just to be confident. You don't know nothing. You don't know how to do it. You just want to show like exactly. the weight, like uh, self improvement. I'm confident. I'm confident. Yeah. But you don't know how to do nothing. So come focus on. on being more knowledgeable. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Now yeah. he didn't, see. I didn't know he was coming here with yeah, bars too. Right? Yeah, no, oh man, they need folks. No on, man. Oh, oh, man. Oh, 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 I'm like, I might on, need to redo my shit. Hold on, man. Come on, man. Let's start this shit over, man. You know, I'm trying to be the most competent in the room. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we all have confident problems. Yeah. Though. I walk in the room, damn, the first thing a nigga think, damn, such and such, look what he got on. Look yeah. at this person. This person got this accolade. But when you know you didn't did the work. Come on. It don't really matter how you come off to people. You know what you're leaving with every time. Yeah. And you don't mind starting over because you started from the mud anyway. You got it out the mud. So... You know, you can't take nothing from me that I ain't never had in the first place. Come on exactly. now. You know what I'm saying? How exactly. you gonna take something from how you go? They was like, man, we gonna they go blackball you Hollywood. Nigga, yeah, like I'm in Hollywood right oh, now. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute, let me get in here. Cause yeah. see now you done triggered me again. Uh -oh. You done triggered me again. Okay. Cause they always they... trying to blackball somebody. You can't stop the rain. You just better go get an umbrella and go hide some damn well. Some shit because we gonna rain. Exactly. We ain't never had it. And what we do have, we got on our own. So well, how the hell you gonna stop me word. from getting some? Yeah. Let's talk about black ball. 
Cause that's this word come up a lot. Yeah. I hear people talk about it. Yeah. For me as an artist, yeah. I look at being blackballed like having writer's block. Mm. If you are a creative enough artist, you never get writer's block. The only time now, you right get now, writer's block. This nigga here is Gandhi. The only time you get writer's block <laughs> is when you go in the studio you and you trying to rap about something that you actually not, not you don't feel here. or you're not you not doing. Here. So now I got a block <laughs> trying to come up with this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But if you sad and you go to the studio and you write a song about being sad, yeah. then you flow with that. Come on. Same thing with being blackballed to me. It's kind of non-existent. Exactly. To me. Exactly. Some people gonna have something exactly. to say about this, but the the real definition of that right or that um blackball word to me is relationship. Exactly. It's relationship problems. Exactly. You created enough relationship problems yep. that people don't want to work with you. And if you come really on, that's not being blackballed though. Exactly. Feel me? Yep. Nobody can blackball you come on. in no game because Man, don't make me go here with these folks. Well, no, I'm here with you. I'm God, here with the only you. one really and could put you in, exactly. dog. So I'm you waiting. can't blackball yeah, me. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Because, see, one thing that I do know, too. See, let me tell you something about the Freak Nick brand that you have. That's not an industry brand. That was a people brand. Mm hmm when you go straight to the people and the people of your consumers, then right. you ain't worrying about the sponsorships or the industry dollars because mm -hmm. the people are always be there. Beehive is not worried about no sponsorships and right, no industry right, dollars right, and nobody right. to come in because I got 300,000 people that equal up to 100 million viewers exactly. that's going to come and rock with me regardless of who else is regardless, rocking with right, me. Right. Can't so it's like you yeah. can't blackball can't me. Right. Exactly, because I got my people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Not, you might not want me in the industry with you, but who cares that's because okay. I got my people. Yeah, I got right. my Right. Uh, market shut you like you got yours. Exactly. I don't even pull up no more if I feel like they don't want me to be there. I don't go where I ain't invited. Yeah. And I don't, I don't stay where there. I don't feel uh, welcome. Exactly. I gotta be there. That's real. I'm That's cool. how I live. Yeah. I'm cool. Me and Currency had this conversation. I used to feel so down, especially be, being from Atlanta, because it's so many events and everybody want to be invited to yeah. everything. Mm. But go where people love you and you feel supported. They mm -hmm. respect you. And to be clear, they going to come and get you at the door. They make sure you're going to get to your car. Right. They make sure you you straight when you get in. Yeah. That's where you need to be. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> That's real. That's real. Okay, fellas. With that being said, though, 420. 420. What's yeah. happening, man? Let's wrap this thing up and let these folks know where they need to be at, what they need to be expecting, and what the hell is really going down. Facts, man. So, you know, for me, I know my strengths and I know my weaknesses. Right? Yeah. Like, I can negotiate deals, I can promote, I got technology, you know what I'm saying? I can put together the right people, I can book artists, things mm -hmm. like that. But, you know, I felt like, you know, from a creative side, I really needed, you know, some support there. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I want you know, I want people to have a dope experience. You That's know what right. I'm when they come in. So, you know, for me, like me being able to lean on, you know, people like Scotty or others, yeah. you know, that bring that that new wave to it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I could go and just Make it an old school concert every single year. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Book the same old school artists every single year, and it's just a boom, boom, boom. But if we want to make it meaningful, we want the message to be able to touch new people. I have to be able to embrace, you know, what I'm saying new talent. I have to be able to, mm -hmm. you know, find ways to say, you know, how can I, you know, what I'm saying like take what I, my thoughts, but include others yeah. from different backgrounds, from different angles, from different viewpoints to make something that's really dope. So. In doing that, I feel like, you know, the 420, you know, Freaknik event that we have, the reunion, mm -hmm. you know, we're going to accomplish that and more. I can um, dig it. You know, we got DJs, you know what I'm saying, from Jelly to Kizzy, you know, to Poncho, you know, going to be out there performing. You know, we got Scotty, of course. You know, mm -hmm. he going to be out there. I'll let him talk about stuff he got going on. Yeah. You know, I, I got, you know, people, you know, different promoters I know that's, you know, in that community. You know, I don't want to say, you know, fully who they are because mm -hmm. they give an idea of where the What's location happening? may be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just trying to include any and everybody mm -hmm. that want to do it for the culture. And obviously, you know, we got to sell tickets because we got expenses. We don't have corporate sponsors. But, you know, our heart is in the right place. We want to do something dope. We want to do something fun. We want to make it safe. You know, we, we need some nonprofit, so, you know, to come out there, you know, to help tell a message. You know, I just got a, a day 
see the South Fulton literally, based on the words, gave me a day. That's all. You know what I'm saying? A proclamation. <laughs> That's all. Uh, for my works with Freaknet, bringing yeah. it back, you know. But we want the city of Atlanta to acknowledge it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We want this to be something. That's proud. And so, you know, Scotty it was doing, you know, I let him tell how he came apart. You know, yeah. he was doing yeah. something that weekend too. Yeah. So let's do it together. Yeah, well, on, we've man. all we've always done the pool party yeah. every year. It's my fifth year anniversary this oh, year. Oh, right now. With Grizz by Scotty. Okay, so mm -hmm. when when I saw what he was doing, I'm like, man, it don't make sense for us to just do two separate things when we can collaborate. Yeah. That just always makes sense to me. Yeah. So Los Elish, what you gonna do with your party? I'm like, man, I'm gonna do it. I was gonna do a pool party, trump it up. He was like, look, whatever you were gonna spend, bring it over here, like, let's collaborate. And so he at first he didn't have like a wet part to it. So I'm bringing a wet and wild part. Okay, you bringing the pussy to it, but continue. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. I just had to say it. Yeah, I'm doing all this. I wonder how, listen, all Damn. this professional shit. It's gonna be ass shaking going on. From the moment you walk in the door, this is if people wanna know what, to, what they gonna experience, ass out, we promote Daisy Dukes, swimming, a gear. Yo, bathing suits. Bring it in that spring. We're going to have a giant water slide. Yeah. yeah. We're going to be on uh, doing a twerk contest. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Wet t shirt yeah. contest. My God. It's going to be wild, but it's going to be safe. Same. Nobody's gonna get hurt. <laughs> Nobody's no, gonna get hurt. Go, hey, Thank you. I'm over here like no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's going digital. It's going, it's going digital. <laughs> Ladies, if you got a problem with your man, get it right. <laughs> <laughs> if you got a problem with your girl, get it right before you come to freak Nick because it's gonna be major shit going on. I don't want nobody to fall out. That's what <laughs> I'm expecting. A wild you. ass night, yeah. But it's gonna be safe. And nobody gonna get hurt because we're gonna have police doing shit like that. What them grills doing before we slide, sir? I'm going crazy. Um, I'm opening a new store. Okay then. Okay then. The day after this. Yep. Oh. Yep. April 21st. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna be on Edgewood. Ooh. So please pull up on me. All right now. We doing the we we doing a ribbon cut in there. Mm -hmm. That's so hard. I'm right between. Killer mice on one side, slutty vegans on one oh, side. I'm in the middle. That's cold yeah. blooded, yeah, yeah. And yeah. on the 19th, yeah. this month in April, the Trap Museum has allowed me to get my own exhibit. That's dope. For Grills by come Scotty. On, so if yeah. you're in the yeah. city, if you're yeah. not in the city, come down. Yeah. Come check out the Trap Museum, the Grills by Scotty exhibit. First ever Grills Museum exhibit has ever existed. Come check it out, man. We take it all the way back from the Mayans. Mm. New Face is a part of this with me. My Thanks boy Joe, yeah. Bitter Darling. Super dope. I'm excited, man. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun field weekend. It's gonna be a lot going on, but but everybody gonna be safe. I keep reiterating that because right. I know that's been a big thing going on. We want to bring back having fun at the highest level, but being safe. Yep. Tickets. Come on. You can get, get it from freaknickfest.com. There you go. www.freaknickfest.com. Support Black Home. Let's get it. You heard the man. Get down with the movement. Be high radio. Shout it. Carlos Scotty. We go. Hey.